All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Drive On. Today is a special day because we got yet another different flavor in the Surface RC hobby, and that is this guy. Uh, not only a new style car, this is a 14th scale buggy, specifically the Team Associated Reflex 14 B. But this is a really cool because this is a little bit different style than any type of car that we've had on the show so far. And it's also our first team associated car that we've ever experienced. And I have to say, we've been having a lot of fun with this sweet little package. It's coming in at about 179, ready to race. Now it is a little bit confusing because there's actually a ready to race combo that's 219. That one actually comes with the battery and the charger. The one that I got here is uh, marked online at 179. I actually got it at our local hobby shop for 169 and that's just the regular RTR package I guess you could call it it comes with everything you need to go except for a battery and for a charger now for a lot of you current hobbyists that's not a big deal because you already have that stuff but if this is your first car which I actually would recommend as a great first little uh, four-wheel drive buggy you are going to have to source your battery and your charger separately which isn't a huge deal most people are pretty specific about what they want in a battery and a charger anyway so it gives you that option you can get it with or without right off the bat I notice a lot about this little car and it reminds me of something that I haven't experienced yet but I've seen a lot of and that is higher performance precision off-road racing. These are the guys that you see at the track every weekend going to race tournaments and stuff like that. That is also something that Team Associated is very well known for and I think that this could be their kind of attempt at making a low barrier to entry into getting a taste of what it's like to have a precision racing four-wheel drive buggy like this. So it's been quite a unique experience from what we're typically used to. You guys know that we like the scale crawlers and we like bashers. So this is a little bit new flavor and I have to say I've been liking it quite a bit. It's a little bit different speed, if you will. The cool thing about this little guy, even though it might be entry level, is it has all the features of its bigger brothers, such as adjustable turn buckles, caster blocks, and rear hubs. It also has an aluminum drive shaft going down the middle and an aluminum steering rack. It comes with a pre-installed digital servo, which seems to be pretty good. It also has aluminum steering linkage, which I thought was pretty uh, high quality. And I have to say that the overall feel of the steering on this little guy is just locked in. It's very, very precise and it does have a servo saver on it so it's going to save you if you run into something but unlike a lot of like more basher oriented cars that have servo savers on it the steering does not feel mushy at all it feels very locked in and very precise which is one of the things i noticed right away when running the car for the first time beyond that uh, it also has a 4500 kv brushless motor for those of you guys who are new to the hobby a lot of the more entry level cars are going to come with a brushed motor which is just less power less speed and to a lot of people less fun so it is one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at entry level cars like this. Beyond that, it also has a water resistant uh, ESC. Uh, both the motor and the ESC are uh, Reedy branded, which I believe is team associated. It's a line of brushless motors and ESCs um, that they've used over the years. So you're gonna get the, the good quality that's associated with team associated. <laughs> So beyond that, it also has oil-filled uh, coil-over threaded shocks, which is pretty cool. Um, and it also allows you to adjust the desired tension of those shocks, depending on how you're running the truck. One of my personal favorite things about this is the body. And it's just a pretty standard body as it goes. Uh, but there's a couple things that I like about it. One is the paint scheme. You guys know that we love airplanes and we love Warbirds. And this is definitely a Warbird inspired paint scheme. It even comes with like little Air Force emblem stickers to go on it. Couldn't be a bigger fan of the of what they did with the scheme and, and the design on this thing. But beyond that, one thing that I will notice being one of the first buggies that I've experienced in a long time that I kind of forgot about is I love how clean and tidy the inside of your car maintains compared to something like a short course truck or a trophy truck where the wheel wells are actually part of the body. So all of the mud and the dirt that the tires kick up immediately go up into the wheel wells of the body on a short course truck and into your RC car. This, it's all kind of like encapsulated and the wheels and tires are on the outside. So it kind of keeps that dirt out of it. I've ran this through water and quite a bit of dirt and gravel and the inside of this RC car still looks like brand new, which is pretty awesome. And speaking of which, it does have a nice molded tub chassis. Now everything on this for the most part in terms of the chassis is plastic, but I did to say it's held up pretty well so far. I haven't done anything too extreme, but I have done your basic jumps, pushed it through some rough terrain pretty hard, and it's held up, it's held up pretty well. So that's
that's a lot of the nitty gritty details on this. I will actually say that I was a little bit caught off guard and I, I know I keep saying that this is kind of like an entry level, but for somebody who's new, you might be thinking, how could something entry level be as expensive as almost $200? What I mean by entry level is it's entry level to a hobby grade RC car. So this is much far beyond any kind of toy grade RC car. This is the performance and reliability that's associated with what pro RC car racers are racing. This is that sweet spot that we oftentimes talk about on this channel. It's the fun factor. And for the price, I paid $169 for this from the hobby store. It is a load of fun. Now, is it the biggest? Is it the fastest? Is it the craziest RC car out there? Absolutely not. And that's part of the reason why it's so much fun. You have less of an investment into the car. So when you're driving it, you're less stressed out about breaking it. And also it's almost like driving like a high performance, affordable sports car, like a Miata or like a Honda Civic. Um, they're fun in the sense that you can almost push them to the maximum and reach that maximum and enjoy it at the maximum. And also not have to be too terribly stressed about killing yourself or, or crashing your car. This thing is fast, but it only goes probably about 35, 40 mile an hour, maybe at the tops, but it is fast. The thing that will catch you off guard is the acceleration with the four wheel drive. It's a manageable speed and it's a manageable amount of performance that you can kind of push these things to its edge and not have to stress out or worry. Even if you do crash into something, it's so lightweight and also durable that it's likely that it's not going to break. Uh, I, I won't say never though. The thing that I like about this for that price point compared to some of the other uh, RC cars that are maybe bigger, like a 110 scale slash or something like that in that same price point is this has two of the key features that I really highly recommend to people who are new to the RC hobby when you're getting your first car. Specifically something that is more speed oriented compared to like a crawler. This is crawlers aside. But the two things that I really suggest new people uh, investing in is one, that brushless motor. This thing has the brushless motor. That's going to get you the speed and acceleration that is is not going to leave you wanting more. And then the second thing is four wheel drive. A lot of cars that you can get uh, come two wheel drive and don't get me wrong, you can have a lot of fun with a two wheel drive car. But I think that for somebody who's new, getting something, if possible, that is brushless and four wheel drive, you're going to be less likely to be wanting more from your investment. For me personally, one of my first steps back into the RC car hobby recently was a two wheel drive brush Traxxas Slash. It was a very, very fun truck, but I remember specifically wanting a little bit more in terms of speed. It maxed out, it wasn't the fastest car, and also the two wheel drive was just kind of a bummer. I'd go in like, wet grass and all my buddies who had the four wheel drive slashes or whatever were shredding through the wet grass, no problem. This thing couldn't even get through wet grass with two wheel drive. That being said, if you're running it on concrete and stuff like that, it's probably less of a thing you have to worry about. But in general, I think four wheel drive is a good thing to consider when you're getting your first car. That being said, with this guy specifically, you get it all. I'd say the thing that you sacrifice, which in my opinion isn't a huge deal, is the size. It's just a smaller scale. It's 114 scale. For me personally, it's a perfect car for running out in my driveway. It has a very tight turning radius. Um, I live in a little neighborhood, and so shredding up and down the sidewalks, uh, jumping some curbs, and running in my driveway, not having to worry about scaring the neighbor kids with like a Traxxas Ultimate Desert Racer doing like 50 mile an hour. You can run this thing, it's not intimidating, you're not gonna tick off any dogs or anything like that. It's just good fun and it's simple. I like the fact that it runs off of a 2200 milliamp two cell LiPo. That being said, I should mention that it's only two cell compatible. I haven't tried a three cell, but it's not recommended to use a three cell. Other than that, the experience of driving these cars is extremely fun and I think it is a great way to get started. You sacrifice a little bit of a size compared to something else in the price range of like a two wheel drive slash, but you're getting brushless, you're getting four wheel drive. My only complaint I'd say with this is the tires and that's not really even a fair complaint because I've mainly been running this on concrete, which it does shine. Concrete is a lot of fun with this, but the tires that it came with, even after running maybe a handful of batteries, the tires, especially on the front, are starting to wear down quite a bit as you can see. Again, that's just nitpicking. Beyond that, I'm kind of excited to get back into these 14th scale 
uh, almost like fun size little cars because I think this thing has a lot of potential compared to some of the other cars like the Losi Mini 8, which has been around for years and is also like $100 more expensive. Um, so let us know down in the comments if you wanna see more cars like this. I'd love to check out the, the Mini 8 and maybe put it head to head to see which one is better for the price. Also just in general, experiencing a new form of the Surface Hobby is always fun. So you guys know the drill. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. We're doing new Surface content, uh, trying to get every week. Uh, not quite there, but we're doing as much as we can here between this and flight test. So make sure you subscribe to all of our channels. And until the next time, guys, we will see you in the next one.